in. So give us some advice for the young media professionals out there. What, what do you mm-hmm. want to tell them? What, do you, what should they know as they're embarking on, on their career path? I think the key is there's no clear path right now, right? I mean, like there aren't really internships and there are endless hiring freezes, all the things. But I think nobody's stopping you from creating the content you want to create. And you can, you can do that on any number of your own platforms that you can control, um, like have a really incredible engaging Instagram feed that that is reflective of the kind of content you want to share. Have, you know, a YouTube channel, have a strong TikTok, have, I mean, a blog-ish, they're kind of going away, but like create content, show that you know how to create content, create content that you actually care about um, and then engage with people who are creating the kind of content that you want to create and you care about. I mean, I think now with social media, it is easier than ever to connect with people who could create opportunities for you. Um, you know, I mean, people reach out to me all the time. Like I've I've featured people's work. I've hired illustrators and crafters and creators and writers just by linking up on social media. I mean, if you have access to people that you never, in you know, back in the day, like if I wanted to talk to the editor in chief of a magazine, like short of like storming her office <laughs> unauthorized, like how's that happening? You know, there you didn't have all of this access. You can you can access any editor of any publication, any digital director, any site director on social media. You can tweet them. You can, in, you can interact with them on Instagram. And if you do it in a very thoughtful, engaged, interested way, they're probably going to engage back. And hey, listen, nobody has any budget. So like maybe you create some free content at first and that turns into something bigger and better. 